for the seventh time in the 22 years of the Philly World Trotting Derby, we have come to a two-horse race-off. It happened every year from 1984 through 1987, again in 1990, again in 98, and now in 2002. And here are the two surviving fillies of this $110,000 stakes. Number one, C.R. Ms. American Pie, owned, bred, trained, and driven by Rod Allen, winner of the second heat in 153 and 4, thereby earning the right to score from post position one in this final. And number two, Cartier Hall, bred by Walnut Hall Limited, owned by Joseph Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California, trained by Doug Ackerman, driven by his son D.R. Ackerman. This Garland Lobel filly won the opening heat today in 155 and 1. Post time in three minutes, win, wagering only. Prior to today, a total of three photo finishes in the history of the Philly World Trotting Derby. And then back-to-back -back photos, each decided by a head in the two heats of this race this afternoon. So after 15 years, without a heat of this race being decided by a nose, a head, or a neck, two in one day, and who knows, maybe a third about to come. They're at the post. Gates rolling. This is it to settle the $110,000 Philly World Trotting Derby. Here they come. They're off and trotting. CR Ms. American Pie goes out for the early lead, and Cartier Hall is going to back away into the number two position entering the first turn. So the first strategy gambit is played out. D.R. Ackerman is going to allow Rod Allen to set the pace here with C.R. Ms. American Pie. She leads it by a length around the first turn as Cartier Hall trots comfortably in the second spot coming to the end of the opening quarter mile. C.R. Ms. American Pie was at the quarter in 30 and 1 fifth and comfortably trots onto the back stretch now with Cartier Hall giving chase in the second spot just waiting patiently and biding her time as they approach the 3 8 mile mark. CR Ms. American Pie won the second heat in 153 and 4, coming from off the pace after Cartier Hall set the tempo and took the first heat in 155 and 1 fifth. And now two drivers who are good friends but fierce competitors on the track, Rod Allen, age 46, and D.R. Ackerman, age 44, have just passed the half in 102 and 1 with C.R. Ms. American Pie continuing to lead this third and final heat. C.R. Ms. American Pie, winner of her division of the Zweig at Syracuse and of her elimination of the Hambletonian Oaks at the Meadowlands this year. Cartier Hall, winner of the Kentucky Sired Spring Championship at Lexington and of the John Simpson Memorial at Hoosier Park in Indiana. Now the tempo is quickened. C.R. Ms. American Pie streaks by the three quarters, 133 and three fifths, daring Cartier Hall to come after her and they're at the top of the stretch. Final eighth mile of the Philly World Trotting Derby. CR, Ms. American Pie, leads it by a length, and Cartier Hall tries to get her. Here's Cartier Hall on the outside, but CR, Ms. American Pie, is tough at the rail. She has to lead by a length. Cartier Hall, a final try. Here's the line. CR, Ms. American Pie, by a half length, takes the 2002 Philly World Trotting Derby. Final heat, 159-4. and four. A valiant effort comes up a half length shy for Cartier Hall. The First Lady of the State of Illinois, Laura Lynn Ryan, waiting to present the trophy for the Philly World Trotting Derby. Rod Allen being congratulated by Kathleen Chick Keebler and her daughter, Coke Oder, good family friends of the Allens. The Keeblers base their stable in South Central Illinois, and each winter they go to Ocala to train their horses with the Allen family. And strolling into the winter circle now with a very satisfying victory, no doubt, a very long and hard-fought victory, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rod Allen with CR Ms. American Pie. The First Lady congratulating Rod. As now everyone gets set to move in for the Victory Lane photo ceremony. It is official. CR Ms. American Pie the winner. Cartier Hall second. The rundown reads 1-2. It's official for race 12. 
The winning filly is by Yankee Glide out of C.R. Seminole Sister by the Allen's accomplished Grand Circuit Trotter, Royal Troubadour. Don't forget, folks, the open division of the World Trotting Derby tomorrow for $550,000, post time 12 noon. Tickets on sale at the DeCoin State Fair ticket office near the main entrance to the grandstand. Tom Tanner and Joe Kyle continue to snap pictures for the national harness racing publications. Let's slide in and grab a word now with Rod Allen. Rod still receiving congratulations from friends in the winner's circle. Rod, first of all, when we've seen you win races in the past, we're used to seeing your dad come and give you one of those big bear hugs and hoist you up in the air. Is your father, Carl Allen, here today? No, no, I miss him too. He's, uh, he's up in Canada. We got a lot of horses right now, and this filly was the only one I brought down. And uh, she belongs to me, so I just brought her down all by myself, and I had to... I had to uh, polish up my grooming this week, but uh, <laughs> we got it done. Did the race-off play out like you had expected? Had that been your game plan to set the tempo? Yeah, I've been beat in those race-offs before sitting in the two-hole, and uh, I, I think the best place to be is on the front. You can usually get a jump on them at the head of the stretch, and then a lot more ground for them to make up. Big last quarter, 26 and 1, but it looked like that your filly was going to need every bit of it. We talked about earlier, DR and Doug Ackerman, they had their filly ready to race, didn't they? She was very sharp today, very impressive, and I was impressed. And she'll be back. She'll be at uh, Lexington. We'll meet up again, I'm sure. One more question. A couple of folks were telling me, is it true that this filly, CR Ms. American Pie, I understand you guys have been swimming her quite a bit. What's the story there? Actually, I thought we should go the third heat in the lagoon here if we just made a lap. <laughs> Because I said she was a biathlete. She'd been swimming for the last two weeks. Ever since I uh, took her off the track at, at the Syracuse for this WEG, the caretaker, uh, she couldn't be here today either. She suggested we swim her, which was good. She swam at home, and she swam as a two-year-old and a three-year-old, and, and she's used to it. She misses it when we go on the road, and she responded well today. She certainly did that. Rod, do us a favor. Why don't you turn the tables? When you see your father, Carl Allen, you give him a big bear hug from all of us here at DeCoin, and congratulations. Thank you very much. I'll do that. Rod Allen, he is the winner with CR Ms. American Pie, folks, in the Philly World Trotting Derby to cap off a great day of racing. The open division of the World Trotting Derby tomorrow, 12 noon. Hope to see you then. For now, Kurt Becker, for Sammy Fark and Governor Ryan, for Brenda Watson the winner's circle. Brenda, thanks for all your help. And for Sonic K, our ringmaster today, have a good evening. See you tomorrow at noon.